Hey, I am so excited to talk to you today about a big mistake that we make as parents. So, uh, this, is, this is the mistake of the day that I don't want you to make. This is why I'm coming to talk to you about it. I don't want you to make a mistake. And this mistake is really pretty really really common with most of us um, it's kind of I think it, that it kind of is a, like a really American thing really Western thing to do and this is it. it's all about this like idea of our willpower right and so the mistake is that we think we can just choose to calm our reactivity with our willpower we say okay like you know when our when our when we're pregnant we're like I'm gonna be a calm peaceful mother we think we can just like choose that like bingo I'm just made a decision and I can choose that the problem with this is that it leaves us without like a lot of tools and support and guidance it's really frustrating because we don't understand the biology of our stress response in these situations um, when our stress response is triggered we are you know our, our nervous system is perceiving our child as a threat so you know we're we evolved to notice threats and look for threats all around <laughs> our ancestors were the ones who were able to see the threats most and so they survived right out in the wild and so we're wired to look for threats and so our nervous system looks for threats and our nervous system perceives our child as a threat in those moments when we feel activated we feel stressed and triggered we're just like oh they're driving me crazy oh three and a half or whatever age your child is maybe it's um, 13 or 14 but whatever age it is when your child's driving you crazy when you're feeling stressed when you when you're like so frustrated you want to yell that's what's happening so your stress response it's your nervous system and in your nervous system the amygdala these little alarm bells <laughs> in the base of the brain they're like freaking out and what's happening is they are they're they're tightening your muscles and making your heart rate um, increase all of those sensations that you feel and so we think then oh i can just like choose to calm down but like this like this this is a a, a process that's in motion it's going forward and what's happening is that you know we think we can just make this choice but like all the that reactive uh, stress response is literally like kind of bypassing the slower parts of your brain you know problem solving higher order thinking um, empathy verbal ability your stress response is literally like bypassing those so that you can react quickly and so this isn't something that you can just like choose to to do not to do with out with willpower so um, we need to start to instead of thinking that we can just choose to calm our stress response it's actually much more helpful to then to under to you know choose to be calm it's much more helpful to start to really understand what's happening in the brain what are the tools the techniques and the practices that help me to calm my reactivity using both the body and the mind what are those things that i can do to calm my reactivity and then you know when we start to understand our biology what's beautiful about this is that not only are we working smarter <laughs> rather than harder we're we're not thinking oh i can just choose to calm my reactivity and then failing and feeling frustrated and alone we're we're then starting to kind of work smarter rather than harder so i have an awesome free tool for you for this um, it is the it's my top two number one tools to stop yelling and to slow down that stress response and you can get that um, i have a link here for it it's at mindfulmamamentor.com slash stop yelling and there's a video and a six step mindful parenting roadmap that you can follow so go check that out that'll definitely help and i hope this has helped you today to understand it a little more don't make that mistake thinking that it's this is like a this choice that you can make okay um i hope this helps
Thank you so much. Namaste.